So here in the States, right? How's, how are you guys enjoying? I saw that you were at Rodeo 208 yesterday. Yes, sir. I saw oh. that. I <laughs> eating a burger. I said, yes. okay. <laughs> um, so saw the film, blown away by it. And I must say that you guys did a really good job. Um, it's a story that we've seen, you know, a lot here mm -hmm. in America. Um, why do you think that this story is important um, or that, why do you think that this story will be important to American viewers? Um, I feel like even though we film it in London, it's a London story, I right. feel like everyone can relate to it around the world. Right. Because similar things are happening, you know. We see young London boys who are not, you know, in, a, in that gang culture or in that street background get caught up in it. Right. And no one really knows how it happens. No one really sees how it happens. We just see the end result. So, yeah. Right. Um, you so you play um, Leah, mm -hmm. um, super ambitious, um, mm -hmm. go getter. You you kind of the moral compass of the story, if yeah. you will. Um, loved your voice too. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I mean, I was like, wait a minute. Um, <laughs> so tell me, what where did you pull inspiration for your character? I pulled it for myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she reminds me a lot of myself from when I was growing up. Mm -hmm. um, I was ambitious, right. so then, um, <laughs> yeah, I was very studious at the time as well, mm -hmm. and really innocent. I didn't have a boyfriend until mm -hmm. later than Leah. Um, yeah, so it's just kind of remembering how I was when I was younger, just um, kind of stripping away all my confidence. Because mm -hmm. obviously when you're young, you have all these insecurities and stuff, and mm -hmm. just played from there. Um, was it your idea to, I know your character wanted to be a singer, was yeah. it your idea to sing in the film or to showcase that talent that you No, have? I had to um, sing in my audition. Okay. Yeah, part of it. Okay. And Redman actually asked you to audition for that. How yeah. was, what did you, did you have like a ball of nerves for the audition process? I know you guys <laughs> had worked together prior. Yes. How was that process for the audition? I wasn't nervous. I guess I was quite comfortable because I, I know him before right. and I'm just um, kind of used to the audition process. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I just, I was more nervous about the singing because with acting, really? I'm just kind of, I'll just act like I, I don't care. But with singing, it's very personal to me. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh, I'm going to sing now. But um, <laughs> other than that, yeah, it was good. And you killed it. Um, Steven, you. so a lot of this movie has been getting a lot of buzz, right? Both good and bad, if you will. Mm -hmm. um, the film was removed from a uh, view um, mm -hmm. from in London. Did you guys, when they removed the film, did that scare you guys? Did, did that make you feel like, okay, wait a minute, did we go too far with the story? Or how did you feel about um, that? We, we were all upset, if I'm being honest. Like, when, right. when we first heard about the news, we were upset because we you know, put so much work into this and for us to be the ones that are punished and penalized for another individual's mistakes was really, you know, played with us. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, and you know, in the film, we're not really trying to glorify violence. We're actually trying to put out a positive, a positive message to people. Exactly. So, you know, with doing that, I just feel it was, was a bad decision. The knife violence is at an all-time high, if you will, yeah. right now in yeah. Southeast London. I was like reading and you know, looking into it. Um, do you think that this film will help to bring awareness to the violence that's happening and possibly maybe an end or a beginning to an end to that violence? Yeah, we, we always say it will bring awareness to people who are not necessarily from that lifestyle. Right. You know, and be educated in a sense where anybody can get caught up in that lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we're hoping to bring awareness to the people that are in that lifestyle and, you know, see that it's not... <laughs> it's not worth it. Right. And, and it, yeah. it shows the people that aren't from this lifestyle um, how that person gets to where they are. Right. You know, it starts from when they're really young and innocent and friends and having fun, and it kind of just shows the events that leads to someone going down that path, which is very important. Right. Um, so I know that you want to work with Viola Davis. That's somebody that you, <laughs> you know, love or uh, admire. If you will. <laughs> oh, yeah, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> So tell me, what's your dream role? Um, I know this was your first film. So what's yeah. like your dream role and who would you want to play? Honestly, something that's um, artistic. I, I watched a film um, on the plane the other day and it, it, it was Judy and she was, yeah. it was just so moving and yeah. it was just solely about her story and just, yeah, just something where the character's like three dimensional and there's a lot to play with. I just love acting so just acting right and yeah. do you want to incorporate singing into the mix 
Yeah, that's always fun, but not all the time, because I don't want to be like, oh, she's always playing a singer or something. Right. But, yeah, I love singing. So. Yeah, you have a beautiful voice. Again, I have to tell you. Thank you. Steven, what about you? Um, you're killing it. I'm like all on your Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, okay, Steven. Um, so your style is bomb. Thank so you. it's like, okay. Um, yeah, so tell me, like, what is your dream role? Um, I can't, I can't say a specific role, but I've always said I want to act in something that is completely different to myself. Like when I watched mm -hmm. um, The Revenant with mm -hmm. Leonardo DiCaprio, mm -hmm. um, he was this Asian, not caveman, but this Asian kind of guy. And mm -hmm. that was so far from himself that when he finished the role, he had to take a break from acting because he challenged himself so much. Right. And yeah, I've always wanted to get into a, I just want to put myself in somebody else's shoes that is completely different to myself and challenge mm -hmm. myself. Right. Um, speaking of John Boyega, he's also from Peckham yeah. in um, Southeast London. Being that you're an actor from London, was that somebody that you look to or, you know, you look at for a source of inspiration yeah, for your it's, career? it's funny because when I first wanted to start getting into acting, it was around the time John Boyega made his first on-screen debut. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I remember looking at that and thinking, how did he get into acting? And I actually started researching and ended up going to the same drama school he did to, you know, start the, the, the journey. Right. And yeah, he was definitely one of my first inspirations to get into acting. So, yeah. yeah. So, um, what projects are you guys working on now? If you can tell us about it, any sneak peeks? I'm just, you know, I'm just, I'm just here meeting people. I'm just here trying to, you know, enjoy it and meet different people and, you know, ride the moment of that blue story day. But, mm -hmm. you know. A beautiful moment, I yeah. might add. Beautiful story. Love you guys' chemistry in the film. So, congratulations to you. Thank you. Where is the buzz you said was mine? Where is the buzz? <laughs>